Welcome to The Casting Couch, the show that gives Hidden Talent in South Florida exposure. I'm your host, Jordan Diaz, and today on the show, we're going to be having film director and creator of the series, Dade County, Justin Robinson, as well as actors and stars of the show, Anthony Roberts and Renee Granato. Stay tuned. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the casting couch is the perfect backdrop. The casting couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the casting couch unique is that it's totally interactive. Social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Casting Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Casting Couch TV, uncovering South Florida's hidden talent. APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater, has produced powerful and thought-provoking plays and musicals in South Florida since 2001. This not-for-profit theater company encouraged seasoned as well as amateur actors to audition for future productions. Please visit APAC at www.apac.com for more details. APAC, building better communities through theater. In 2004, The Casting Couch was introduced as a live Sunday night event that showcased national and international talent. Although the show was geared towards individuals establishing a performing arts community, Casting Couch has evolved to be a show about hidden talent in South Florida. In 2012, the idea of The Casting Couch was revisited with vigor. Slightly tweaked, The Casting Couch TV show focused primarily on the entertainment industry as it pertained to South Florida. Shot in beautiful Miami, this show is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Although the main premise is focused on entertainment, the show will discuss social issues that affect Miami society. to the casting couch. My first guest today is creator and director of the web series Dade County. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Justin Robinson. What's going on, man? What's up, Justin? Thank Take you. a seat Thank on the couch, me. man. All right. Justin, it's great to have you on the couch. Thank so you I'm going to just Thank you for having me. I'm just going to get right to it. So tell us a little bit about uh, this new web series you guys are coming up with Dade County. Well, Dade County is 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 going to be a very exclusive web series. It's about these, these cops trying to find a really demented, crazed killer okay. that, you know, really is just does some crazy outlandish stuff that you would never think of. And, you know, the whole purpose of it is just to show the real grit of Miami, not the flashiness of mm -hmm. South Beach and downtown. You know, we're going to show people what Dade County really is, not what people think Dade County truly is, its perception. Well, you know, there's a lot of different perceptions about Dade County. Uh -huh. You know, you, you have, you know, the bright lights of South Beach and exactly. then you got, you know, the um, the more impoverished, uh, you know, Liberty Cities uh -huh. and then you got some of your 
more upscale coral gables. So, you know, it's it's such a melting pot. It what, is. What made you decide to just really explore this part of, of Dade County more? It's than because the it's, 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 you know, Miami is a very flashy city. It's a lifestyle city. Right. And so our goal was just to, you know, you see it on First 48. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to show that side. There's nothing glamorous about it. It's about common people in Miami with common, you know, problems and so forth. You know, not nothing flashy about it whatsoever. Great. Mm -hmm. So how did you get started as a filmmaker? Well, it all started back when I was in college, uh, back at Florida a University. I graduated with my degree in uh, broadcast journalism, but we had oh, to make cool. documentary films. And I, that's where my interest really got into it. And then coming back home, um, uh, my producing partner, Anthony Aaron Roberts, who actually starring in this in this uh, web series, you know, we just started collaborating, put our minds together, and we just, just made it happen. So that's what really, really got me to get get really into this. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, great. So what, do you have any filmmakers that inspire you, sort of, to that you think about whenever you're making anything? Well, I do like Anthony Scorsese a lot. I think I said his name wrong, but <laughs> Anthony, that you mean guy. Martin Scorsese, Martin right? Martin Scorsese, yeah, that guy. <laughs> And the other guy, the, what's his name? The one who did uh, Django, Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino. He is the most outlandish filmmaker ever. He never follows the rules of film. He does what he wants to. And it's just like his, his stuff is really, really, really interesting. Well, you know, he pays homage to a lot of the, um, a lot of the older, more, you know, classics. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of uh, spaghetti westerns and, and things like that. He's really good. So talk to me a little bit about your, um, your production company. What, well, what made you decide to get into, you know, to start your own production company? I know that's really hard, especially. It's, with... Well, first, what really made me get into it, well, first, you need money. Right, that's, of that's, course. That's, <laughs> the, that's a given, you know. But um, like I said, me and my producing friend, Anthony mm -hmm. Roberts, we decided to just, you know, put our, put our money together and yeah. start something like this independent film company, J War Film. So that's, uh, that's our, our biggest project right now. And uh, we're just trying to make it, take it to the next stop with next, next level. I'm sorry, we're doing little things such as the web series and doing mm -hmm. on, we're doing more so within 2013. And we have a lot planned for this, for the rest of this year too. Good, tell, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what's coming up after day. day well, count. you know, we do have some stuff coming up and I don't like to talk about it because, you know, in this industry. True, you're right. Everybody likes to say, oh, I came up with that. But just be on the lookout. You will <laughs> see some very good, interesting stuff. You know, we are going to go overseas with a couple of things. Um, Great. And uh, we got some documentaries coming up too as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. So this is, I guess, a little more, um, a little more personal kind of question delving in. But, you know, being an African-American filmmaker, uh -huh. there are, you know, certain things, you know, certain types of films that I feel, not just even African-Americans, but, you know, even Latin Americans like myself, mm -hmm. you know, filmmakers tend to associate and have to make these certain kinds of films like gangster films, you know, certain mm -hmm. niches. What, yeah. what do you think has to happen to just go away from that and be more widely accepted in other different forms of filmmaking? Well, I think there's, I've, I've noticed there's a huge difference between the art of filmmaking and then just filmmaking in general. The commercialism. So, of right. and um, you know, there's a lot of people who explore the art of filmmaking is which I'm trying to get into as well. And um, that's what you normally would, would see on TV, mm -hmm. but that's kind of like, it's kind of a touchy subject. Right. Because you don't want to say the wrong thing, you don't want to say the right thing, and it can go either way. But I do think that there's just, there's, in my opinion, there's not a lot of minority actors on film. Right. And I do respect other filmmakers who are minorities like us, who do keep us minority filmmakers relevant. For mm -hmm. example, a lot of people, talk so bad about this guy Tyler Perry Tyler Perry but he does keep our our minority actors and actresses relevant by putting them on screen by doing right. what he wants to do right so he, he gives them an, an, an you know a, a place to be able to exactly. keep performing so you know a lot of people criticize him but I think he he to me he does minorities justice by keeping them on the big screen right mm -hmm. but he also delves in you know to the, like the I guess the, the sort of the commercialism of what we're talking exactly. about but obviously you know he's it's got to do what he's got to do right? exactly and I appreciate that about him. Right. Mm -hmm. It's it's. I think it's important for for actors to be able to have work, especially for for minority actors, who are constantly, you know, working hard to get to be there. Right. So, but that's just mainstream Hollywood. True. So hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So here's a here's a fun one. All right. What do you think? Uh, what do you think you'll be in ten years from now, with J War Films? 
10 years with J-War Films, I hope to be sitting in this same chair with a glass of cognac in my <laughs> left hand and a big Cuban cigar right here. Can I be there with you? Uh, sure, you can, but the thing is, I probably won't give you a Cuban cigar and the cognac. You know, it's going to be about J-War films, you know, so that's where I really see it. I just want to make sure that we just get our message out as far as what we like to do and just make it happen, you know, and just have that drive and just, you know, it's not about the money. It's all about the passion, and when you do what you do for the rest of your life, you'll never work another day in your life, and it'll be the most, you'll be rewarded by people admiring what right. you really do. Right, you always... Mm -hmm take the you know a lot of people do this for the money and, and exactly. sometimes you know it influences us so much that we forget about the art exactly. and how much effort and you know and love that it takes to to be a filmmaker to be an actor to be uh -huh. a, a grip a, a production assistant exactly. it doesn't matter yeah but we're all in this together as a team exactly so they're gonna happen that that's my that's my biggest goal even if i'm not a huge famous uh, film director, I'll still be satisfied knowing that I'm still doing what I love to do. No, of course. And um, just having fans and people wanting to see more. Great. Mm -hmm. So, what, what in your opinion is the most important thing anybody's ever told you about filmmaking? Patience. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can hear that one. Patience. There are many times where I would just cut the camera off and be like, yo, dude, just <laughs> say the line. It's two lines. <laughs> I know, right? You know, but, and, um, and one thing, a lot of people tell me this. <laughs> if, if I'm the director, mm -hmm. a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, it's up to you, but I suggest this. Oh, but it's up to you, but I suggest this. Right. But if it's up to me, just be quiet and let me do my job. Of course. So, you know, that's what I say. You know, patience is patience and having the passion for it will get you through it. So I've, I've learned a lot along the way. I learned a lot about myself, too. So, yeah. Well, Justin, thank you for coming on the couch today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're going to stick around, though, right? Yeah, of course. Where would I go? Well, when we come back, you're going to take a look at some of Justin Robinson's uh, film footage, and we're going to have two of his stars from Dade County on the couch, Anthony Roberts and Renee Granado. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the casting couch is the perfect backdrop. The casting couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the casting couch unique is that it's totally interactive. Social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Casting Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Casting Couch TV. Uncover South Florida's hidden talent. APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater, has produced powerful and thought-provoking plays and musicals in South Florida since 2001. This not-for-profit theater company encouraged seasoned as well as amateur actors to audition for future productions. Please visit APAC at www.apac.com for more details. APAC, building better communities through theater. In 2004, the Casting Couch was introduced as a live Sunday night event that showcased national and international talent. Although the show was geared towards individuals establishing a performing arts community, Casting Couch has evolved to be a show about hidden talent in South Florida. In 2012, the idea of the Casting Couch was revisited with vigor. Slightly tweaked, the Casting Couch TV show focused primarily on the entertainment industry as it pertained to South Florida. Shot in beautiful Miami, this show is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Although the main premise is focused on entertainment, the show will discuss social issues that affect Miami society.
I need you guys to find out everything he knows. That forensic in the house looking for anything that could lead us back to the victim. This suspect is a piece of work. He has a collection of books on the who's who of the serial killings of the past century. Dahmer, Kemper, Berkowitz, Bundy. Guys who the FBI's entire crime classification manual is based on. And get this. He knows our whole approach. Somehow he's been keeping track of you two. Now, our two upcoming guests are two of, two of South Florida's most sought after actors. Please help me welcome Mr. Anthony Roberts and Mr. Rene Granado. Woo! Hey, how's it going? How's it going, guys? How's Good it going? to see you on the couch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, no problem. Please go ahead and take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. So, talk to us. Talk to us a little bit about your characters on the web series Dade County. Yeah, well, uh, I play Detective Harris. Um, pretty much Detective Harris, he's a pretty much. Uh, a detective for the city of Miami police. Mm -hmm. He's uh, along with uh, a de Garcia. detective Garcia here, searching for the serial killer called the Butcher of Biscayne. Okay. Um, so we were trying to find him. We have help from an FBI agent, and uh, things things kind of go left a little bit, you know. So uh, it's just pretty pretty exciting. Great. Yeah. And yeah, my character Garza, he's uh, it's funny because Anthony wrote that part for me. You know, we've we uh, we met uh, doing a play, uh, yeah. Camp Logan. Actually, so was Marcel. Um, and uh, he, he called me up and said, hey, listen, I got a part for you in this web series I'm doing, and I'd love to, you know, for you to be a part of it. And I immediately said yes, um, just because of the camaraderie that we have with each other, and, uh, and I've worked with him before, and, and, uh, and it's, it was one of the best decisions I made because uh, I just love the character. He wrote right. it for me, uh, and he's just like, you know, he's, a, he's a, just a, a guy who wants to do the right thing, but he's also a hothead. So he's kind of, you know, fighting between those two, those two aspects of himself. But, uh, but it's, yeah, I love him. It's a great character, and I hope to play him again soon. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's fantastic, guys. You guys met during during Camp Logan with uh, APAC, the African American Performing yeah. Arts Community Theater. Right. Yeah. Um, how important is networking for actors? Uh, it's huge. I mean, at least to me, it is. You got to be out there. You got to be meeting other actors. You got to be. Uh, meeting other uh, production people because you never you never know where those production and and really that's one of the biggest things like m get to know your production people you know get right. to know the people behind the camera because you know what they work probably as hard if not harder, harder. than actors you know they're the first ones yeah. on set the last ones to leave and you know they're always just moving and doing and shaking and doing stuff they're always on to the next project right. so you know those are those are the guys that you really need to get to know and and believe it or not they'll remember you of you course. know they'll remember you and say oh yeah I know that guy you know give him a call He's yeah. a, you know, he was a great actor because, you know, the, at least the cameraman, he's constantly looking at you on camera, yeah. the director, you know, so it's definitely important to network as an actor. Yeah, you know, it's just, we're all going for the same goal, you know, directors, actors, we're all trying to pursue our craft, so it's always good to network with uh, directors, uh, screenwriters, anything, because yeah. you, may, you may meet a screenwriter and she sees you and she may be like, you know what, I like that actor, yeah, I want to write something for him, you know. As a matter of fact, the reason I got the part in yeah. Camp Logan was because I had met Finley Polonies, Pol who's actually going to be on the show, um, and he was, he's also another cast member in, in Camp Logan, and, and he gave my name to Teddy, the director, Teddy Harold Jr., the director, and, uh, and that's how I got the part. So right. if I had never met Finley at a, at a workshop, I would have never even known him. Camp Logan, and uh, and it's it was one of the best projects I could have I've, I have I think worked on other than than Dade County. To be honest with you, it was just a great cast, a great crew, and, and love Apex. You know? That's fantastic, guys. It's it's I think a lot of people don't see how necessary I think it is to to stay connected with the Absolutely. people you work with, and not realize sometimes talent isn't enough. No, yeah, you're right. It's, I think it's, a, it's a little bit of everything, you know, right. it's, it's talent, it's, it's, it's uh, your own cre uh, creativity, your own passion for it, uh, uh, you know, what you what you want to get out of it. I mean, there's just so much yeah, involved right. into being an actor or even just being in the creative field altogether. Yeah, even the way you promote yourself, yeah, the yeah, way everything. you carry yourself How you market yourself, yeah, yeah. you know, and as an actor, you know, before you make it and get the, the big money and have all the yeah, publicity and everybody money. making <laughs> and everybody doing everything, you know, all that marketing stuff for you, you got to do it for yourself. Yeah, right. you, you can't take no for an answer. You, you're going to hear about a hundred no's until you hear yes. Of course. As an actor starting out, so be prepared to hear no. That's why I always say actors, uh, especially actors, we're the most overconfident people on planet Earth. Because we heard no so many times. Yeah. 
So, and we still feel like, you know what, I'm still better for the part, even though I heard no. Right. And that's how we have to look at it as actors. You have to say, yeah, he said no, but just because, you know, he had a friend on the inside, that's why. But I'm a better actor, you know, so. But you know what, even then, he that actor did the right thing. He networked, he became close exactly. to this person, yeah. and he got the part. Exactly. Even if he's not, maybe as talented as you, maybe if he's not, you know, as good looking, you know, whatever, maybe he doesn't even fit the part all that well. Yeah. But he knows that person. Right. And that person the networking looked helped. at him. Exactly. The networking exactly. helped. Exactly. So where did you guys um, happen to study acting at, you know? Oh, well, I went to uh, Saginaw Valley State University uh, okay. up in Michigan. Uh, Michigan. I took, yeah, took theater up there. Um, did some plays up there uh, for the school, um, like community theater up there, and then um, moved down here uh, about a couple years back mm -hmm. and just got into the Miami acting scene and just went from there. Started my first professional job was with APAC. Uh, I did a, a play called Camp Logan. You know, amazing experience, that's why I met him. And I met most of the actors uh, from the Day County Web Series with. So uh, it was very, very, very good. And um, yeah, I'm down here now. I'm um, hoping to move, uh, pursue it further in New York or LA yeah. uh, in the fall, so. That's fantastic, yeah. Brene? Um, I actually, believe it or not, I studied advertising. Uh, oh, that's great, Yeah, that's I was cool. actually in the advertising field for about 15 years. And I still, you know, I'm still a graphic designer. Obviously, you never, you never stop doing what you study. Well, you and know, it, and you it's, it's also part of my creative side. Uh, but as far as the acting goes, in high school and college, I did some plays and I sang and danced and mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. But um, but then it came to a point where, you know, like everything, you you start focusing on a career. And I right. got I got into it and was going great, but I was missing something. You know, I was right. missing something, and and I just said, you know what? I think I've, I've I'm done with this. I quit my job and I decided to become an actor full time. And then I did that for a few years and went back to the to the workforce for a while. And then uh, in 2010, I again. Decided, you know, let's do the acting thing again for a while, and 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 it's been the honestly, like, if you have a passion, just mm -hmm. follow it, follow yeah. follow your heart, because it's t and your stomach and your gut, because right. it's telling you exactly where you need to be. I mean, you know, it's how, just it's it's just no brainer. How important is that? I guess you know to stress that you know you, if you really want this, if you really want to pursue this career, that you just have to dive in you have to dive in no yeah, no yeah, no yeah. you know take the risks most you have definitely. to take those risks because without any risk you're not going anywhere most definitely i was telling justin uh on a quote uh, uh this morning actually we were driving over here i told him i said you're 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 extremely lucky if you find something that you love to do for the rest of your life and that you're passionate about yeah. and that's a miracle if somebody wants to pay you for it oh, yes yeah. so <laughs> that's, i hear that, that. yeah yeah <laughs> so that's that's and I, i'm passionate about acting man. I, I love it you know I started watching uh, films when I was young. With my uh, my father would take me to the movie theater in Nassau, Bahamas, Shirley Street Theater. We watched a lot of '80s movies. That's why I love the '80s. I love yeah, '80s movies. '70s and '80s, yes. in my opinion, yes. specifically John Hughes films. Oh. John Hughes is great. <laughs> so uh, I watch movies with my dad and my grandmother. I watch movies with her. Some of the classics: Sidney Poitier, Humphrey Bogart, you know that kind of stuff. And uh, ever since then, man, I just been addicted to it, and you know, I'm here now. So let me tell you about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He will have a 72-hour conversation with you about films. He has seen every oh. single oh. film in America. I'm the I same threw, way too. I threw an idea out to him, that something that we wanted to do, and he just started saying, that was done already in 1981, that was in 1983, <laughs> that was in 2008. You gotta have something different. I, okay, Anthony, then you think of it, all right? Just go yeah. ahead. I mean, it's pretty hard to you come know, up with yeah. original ideas When he says he's ideas watched, nowadays. he's seen a lot of movies, trust me. Yeah, he's I told, seen every I told, movie. You know, I told him the day, too, that, you know, Hollywood is lacking stories, it's lacking yes. ideas. Yes, it is. So if you have an original idea, a really good idea as a director or as an actor, and you want to write it, keep it to yourself until it's time to release it. You never want to sell out because you always hear about stories like Sylvester Stallone. He wrote Rocky. Mm -hmm. They wanted to buy it from him, but he was like, I'm not selling it unless I'm playing Rocky. You know, or like Christopher Nolan, you know, he wrote Inception like 15 years ago. He just kept it to himself right. until finally he made it. He was like, I want to make this movie. So, yeah. so finally he had the power, yeah, had the, the leverage. Power, yeah, and to make it. Exactly. Yeah, so, he, you know, it's all about stories, man. You have, if you have a good story, you have a good pitch, man, and, you know, you have it. You're good. So do you, do you guys think it's really important for actors to not just... Because I know, uh, you know, you're a part of uh, J War Films as well, yeah, yeah. And, and I know Renee, you produce and do some yeah, of your own yeah, things as a, well. Yeah, I've done a couple of small productions. Is it is it really important? You think for actors to, to branch out that way to, to be more entrepreneurs oh, yeah. in that respect? Yeah, it, acting is not what it used to be, um, and this career anyway is not what it used to be. Nowadays, you got to wear all the hats. You know, it's important for you to wear all the hats because, especially with all the technology just getting so much smaller and so much mm -hmm. cheaper, you know. First of all, you have that ability yeah. to now be a producer, director, writer, yeah. you know, and all that stuff, and not just focus on the acting. 
but it just makes you, you know, it makes you that much more, um, uh, you know, just more. They'll Versatile? want you more. You know? yeah. yeah, they just want. They, they'll, they'll want. They want that experience. Mm -hmm. You know, they want yeah. that experience. And as an actor, when you know what's happening behind the camera, it makes the production people's yeah. job so much easier. You know, and and that again is going to help you with the networking well, and say this you... guy, this guy's a pro. He knows what he's doing. You're not going to have any problems with him. So it's absolutely important. Right, because if you if you're stuff. on the on the other side, you know, the other perspective, yeah, you know, it, it shows that. Well, okay, this guy respects me because he knows what I'm going through. Exactly. He knows what I'm doing. Exactly. He knows, he understands yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're, you know, as an actor, once you, you know, once you are behind the camera and you're doing, you know, I've, I've pulled cable, I've done lighting, yeah. I, I've done it all, you know, I've done it all. And I want to do it because as an actor, I love the the field, you know, I love the field. I love all of that. I love the front of the camera. Sure, I yeah, do the yeah, same, you know, yeah. Justin will say the same thing. We love the front of the camera, but it's also the back because a lot of the magic happens there too, you yeah. know? Right. A lot, oh, of, yeah. a lot of the magic happens there. I did make there. my acting debut though. When? In uh, <laughs> Dade <laughs> County. <laughs> oh, that's, I did. Did. that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So, you, you speak about versatility. You really need the versatility. Yeah, you need the, <laughs> no, most and, directors um, want to be actors too. I definitely, <laughs> you'll, you'll check me out. You know, I, um, I play a Dominican, so. Um, it's funny. It's, it's, funny. it's, 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 it's quite funny. funny. <laughs> um, I will say this every time we had to do the take over and over again, they would just be like, come on, Justin. I said, yeah, I'm not an actor. <laughs> okay? And um, I probably won't be doing too much on camera acting, but, you know, my, my passion's behind the camera and so forth. So, yeah, but I did make my acting movie. Again, I want to thank you all for coming here Anthony, yeah. Renee, Justin. Yeah. And we'll be back next week again. Stay tuned, and I'll see you later. Peace. Let's pop out the question. What was your favorite moment of your own casting couch show? 